Everyone, however they're showing up, is doing the best that they can. And you might think, my God, they're a mess and they're doing all these terrible things. And from your vantage point, they, that's exactly true. But if you're looking at it from a metaphysical or spiritual perspective, people are really doing the best that they can with what they know. And even if they're doing things that seem awful, this is where they are. And they're evolving along the way, the same way I have and you have. And many of the things that I might have been able to do when I was say 20 or 25, I would even think of doing anymore. You know, it's just, it's like people grow and they grow up. Each of us are wonderful creators in our own right, in our own way. You're all doing it differently and that's really the wonder of it all. Unique, wonderful creators in your own right. And each of us throughout our life have been very busy creating our life and our day-to-day -day experiences. So. First of all, I want everybody to think of themselves as a creator. You might think I am the creator of my own life. And you are. You've brought in everything. I'll say the good, the bad, the ugly, especially the good, right? You brought it in as by virtue of your own consciousness. That's one of the first things I notice as you heal your life. The whole blame game stops. You start languaging it like I allowed this to happen. I participated in this, I allowed. You know, we step out of that whole place of a victim. What we want to do here is we want to surrender that role and realize, okay, you might be letting people do more in your life than you ought to. So if, if you are, then it's time for you to step up and create a boundary. You don't have to crucify the other person or hurt them. You know, you're in a dance with everybody, a cosmic dance. And you know, what we're learning to do in this class is we're learning to love ourselves more and more. We're never here to be making other people wrong. That's not what we do. So all of us are one with spirit. And it might be good for you to think of yourself as a co-creator of your life. Spirit is operating in you and through you. And it's in every cell in your body and it has the ability to heal your body and heal your mind and heal your circumstances. But you need to be the director. You need to get out of what we call the stage coach that we teach the kids and get on the platform and use the power that you have. You need to direct it. You need to change your thinking sometimes. Not all the time, but you need to change your thinking. When you're going low, you need to hit your wagon to a star and you need to aim higher. So when we're aware of our connection with life and we're one with spirit and we know that we have the ability to choose always if you allow yourself to get into a new moment you could see peace instead of whatever you're seeing if you allow yourself in a new moment you can look at that person you've been mad at and just let them go and just understand they're doing the best they can right there see this isn't about them it's always going to be your glorious opportunity to see things differently in a new moment and that's what a new thought practitioner does he or she practices seeing the good in a new moment and so we have the opportunity to create endless experiences each and every day and each and every week of our life